okay, we have the key to the password. Now we're gonna set the same password for root user because all in case would be root user. So let's create a password, same as like a previous command that we have already created as well. Password root, same password. Okay, we have the created the password for each user. Now we gonna uh, uh, we gonna enable password sequence for use in case. So nano uh, etc ss h g uh, sudo ss h g uh, there should be uh, sorry I made mistake in here nano drive and we should use etc in the local chain that we have to uh, enable edit uh, etc ssh and slash ssh etc sshg um, underscore config so let's enter uh, you can see that we have to find um, password identification no we are gonna change it to yes Tab yes and press F, Control F, then Y. Okay, we have saved the password identification, but we have to restart the uh, SSH service. So <coughs> we're gonna restart service um, SSH. E S T R E S T R G. Restart. Oh, I have mistake. Direct mistake. Service uh, SSH. We have restarted the SSH. Okay, now we're gonna use uh, install virtual mini for our uh, instance. So to install virtual mini in our instance, we have to configure, uh, we have to follow some uh, criteria before you move on. So the criteria is change your host name and use the domain name with uh, that IP address that your DPS server has. So we have currently an IP address uh, of our DPS server and we're gonna appoint it to a domain name. So let's find the domain name here. Let's make it a subdomain server and pass uh, IP address should be the uh, DPS IP address and add a record. So we have added a record in here and server and my IP address. So server and it should be a domain name. Okay, we have the point to the IP address. Now we're gonna um, uh, change our host name in uh, we're gonna change our host name in uh, our instance so let's go to our instance and let's change our IP address host name in here sorry uh, nano etc host it okay we have a local host in here and we're gonna add another value 127.0.0.1 and it should be server.eu now that xyz so control x y and we're gonna change host name to because it's the main part of our computer and enter here as server. So make sure you have pointed to domain first, and um, we have to do one more thing, which is uh, and edit resolver to add local host. So we have to do it as nano etc resolve. If you press control, uh, sorry tab to see the suggestion if uh, there are any name. Okay, you can see that nano etc resolve that config and enter you can see name server something like here and we're gonna change it to new uh, add new value in here name server 127.0.0.1 and control x and y okay we have ready to install uh, virtual mini in here so to install virtual mini we have to download virtual mini access file code so to access file from internet 
so you have to come and grab that and uh, the IP uh, the address I will provide it in your description my uh, Ubuntu address uh, sorry I uh, address of the da download virtual main so here's the address I have put it in here so let's press enter and it's download so we have to run the command uh, as it is downloaded uh, root then root folder so we're gonna uh, uh, make um, execute the sh command in here sh root and uh, virtual mini that s virtual mini in that in dash install that sh so press enter and i am access yes okay it should take uh, one to two minutes to install so in the meantime um, uh, we you have to check um, the two minutes correctly pointed with the IP address. Sometimes QDMN register uh, might take time to point the IP address to a uh, to a address to an instance. So uh, make sure you have the uh, correct IP address uh, pointed to the server. So we're gonna wait in here to install finish install virtual mini. We go back to the video and the server has install virtual mini has installed so we can track virtual mini uh, from a new target version of the window and we can enter our ip address uh, yes our server name as server sorry make sure you have uh, you have the http key as sorry so we're gonna browse another google okay we're gonna use another browser Uh, enter HTTPS and server dash c d s dash x y z colon one thousand. Oh, we have we have forget we have forget to add ten thousand twenty thousand fourteen um, issue to security group. So it's a bad it's a big mistake. So that's gonna add it in here. Edit, add TCP 10,000, and uh, TCP 20,000, and we have, okay, we have, now we have good to go, so let's re-enter, okay, I press advanced, process group page okay here is your web main server so you can see now login with your uh, event to password here is your and say you and password your root password so you can now configure your uh, virtual main server for uh, uh, that is installed so this is all about to today's video so I hope you guys like this video Make sure you have have any problem. If you have any problem, make sure you have any comment in comment section. I will try to give the answer. So thanks for watching this video.